Hello guys. Just a quick video this week. This will be me on my phone, I'm afraid. Um, I've been really busy building. <laughs> I'll show you. Check it out. Yeah, I know, don't take the mickey. I didn't have time to build it to scale or to paint it. Sorry. <laughs> it's built from scrap components I found around the house. So, if you've been following me social media, you'll recognise this little thing. Me IGBT gate driver. Uh, we've got a dead Arduino. Rest in peace, my friend. Look. It's the first one I've ever blown up. Yep. You're looking at the 18 mega 328p dead. I always know when my chips are dead because I fold the uh, I fold the legs over like that, so it's like a dead bug. Rest in peace, dear friend. Right, so here's this monstrosity. It's pretty much made of hot snot. <laughs> it's hot snot everywhere. This is hot snotted on. This is going to look at some regen breaking later on. Um. I've got the IGBTs. You can see I've got six per side. Um, if you look a bit closer, you'll see they're actually bridged together completely. So both collectors, both emitters, both bases. So these are essentially, these two are essentially one transistor, just doubling up on the current. So there's three there and three there and what I've got also is DC bus capacitors that are underpowered underrated DC bus three phases out which gives you AC three phase and cooling fans which are uh, not operational at the moment that's just tucked in there and there's the wire for the other one <laughs> there's another cooling fan under here. <laughs> uh, what have we got? So the dead Arduino is still acting as a 5 volt regulator. So <laughs> I needed a 5 volt regulator to run my Hall effect sensor on this motor so that it knows where the position is. Cool, huh? And this Arduino is running a very simple sketch uh, to show regen breaking. So Pretty much when this is in the right position, it will put the it will switch the transistors in the right state. So, uh, without further ado, don't worry if you don't get any of this. I'm going to go into more detail into it next week. Just wanted to show you what I've been up to, so you can just look at this and go, look at that crazy thing. <laughs> but pretty much, this is just um, uh, oh yeah, got a visual aid. See, I built this as a like a little uh, learning tool, so you guys might find it interesting. I built it for you guys. As each light is on, that's representative of the um, the IGBTs three, two, one low, and three, two, one high side. So that's the positive side, and that's the negative side. This is the so I did I did do that right. I did blue and brown wires. <laughs> um, that's the DC bus line see the uh, metal uh, copper bar there and then you've got the three phase output bars there quite nice well it's not, it's a mess but right, so at the moment then our DC bus is unplugged from the Variac that normally goes into these bridge rectifiers and into this little cap here, four, four farad, something like that. And I've got a light bulb acting as a ballast in case anything goes wrong. Right. Okay, I'm going to show you something. I'm right-handed. I'm going to do this right-handed. I'm going to pump some power into that cap. Ready? Watch this for regen breaking. Cool. Spinning away happily.
That's just the power I've just pumped in using my hand. And that'll keep running until... Beautiful. So regenerating into capacitors is definitely the way to go. Look at all that energy that it that it captures. I don't think you could do that with a battery. I really don't. I don't think a battery would capture all that energy like that. What I'm gonna do is run my hand past it a bit. Fourteen volts on that cap. Yeah, so um, I'm quite confident in this uh, regenerating into supercapacitor business. What I'll do, I'll disconnect that cap there. Let's try. We don't need our ballast light bulb to the, for this. Let's go negative to negative, positive to positive. Don't worry if this is not making much sense. I just wanted to show you what sort of things I'm getting up to at the minute. This one's going to take a lot longer to charge. Now that's really stiff. I can hardly turn that. Yeah, these just hold a very low voltage. I can hardly turn that. <laughs> it's really stiff. Come on. But yeah. See, there's a very now these yeah. So it all it it does it has worked really well. It's just that these guys can take quite a bit of energy. I'd be I could be doing this all day to pump them up. <laughs> but the main thing is they will absorb all of it nearly all of it much more than a battery anyway for quick short bursts that you're going to need you know breaking down a hill um yeah so that's pretty good i'm just gonna pause the video a sec okay so i guess you want to see this thing run under power let's show you that quick oh, i'm hooked back up to that big blue cap it's very efficient actually, I was quite surprised. It looks horrible, but it does the business. Okay, so we're hooked back up to our big blue cap. Big blue cap is hooked into these bridge rectifiers, which goes along under the desk to Mr. Variac. So as I turn Mr. Variac. We get some action. Right. And it goes. So I'll ramp up the voltage a little bit. Sixteen volts. It's nice. Oh, by the way, I've got this light bulb, little 12 volt car light bulb as a ballast. It looks like when I'm bringing up the voltage past 80, this is AC volts. You can't quite see that. But yeah, as I'm, yeah, that current is going up. It's not this thing. It's definitely not this inverter because, um, see, I'll show you what happens when I draw current on this. Stripey fingers. Yeah, what's what's drawing the current is this um this capacitor here. And the reason is 
it uh, doesn't like 80 volts. I think it prefers 63 volts. So I think I'll just leave this around 75 volts for a bit, maybe 70. Well, yeah, basically, um, that's it running. It does actually run really nice, and it's going to serve a purpose of me teaching you inverters when I'm done with it. And regen braking, let's not forget that. I'm going to proper regen brake some stuff later. So, yeah, actually, this is very talky. Damn. I wonder if I can just show you how talky that is. Got to 70 volts. I'm going to pause the video a sec. Okay, so yeah, don't forget, I've got this little 21 watt light bulb as a ballast. Okay, so all the current into this inverter DC bus is running through this little light bulb. Okay, don't bear that in mind. It's incredible. Can't be pulling a lot of current. And my paper's getting really hot now. Really, really hot. It's starting to burn. Okay, yeah, that's good. <laughs> really hot. Lovely and warm. There's a lot of heat um, transferred into that paper just there. So, yeah, got to be running pretty efficient. So, there we are, guys. Going to start looking at three phase motors. Um, I'll go into more detail next week about building one of these. We'll have some schematics. I'll draw a schematic for you in case you want to build along at home. It's actually pretty simple. All it is, is a three phase, this bit in the middle is just a bit of perf board um, with six diodes on it. They're nice and cold as well. Do you remember last time we had the full bridge rectifier for single phase? Well this is essentially a full bridge rectifier for three phase. It has six diodes instead of four. So all that energy that's captured from the back EMF is again uh, rectified and fed back onto the DC bus which gives you really good region break-in and efficient, efficient um, a very efficient inverter. It's what most inverters have. It's nothing special but you, you need to have the right stuff otherwise you don't want to be going out there with an... oh my god that's boiling that's solid, uh, that, that motor's got red art. Wow. I'll just show you that. No, I won't bother, do it next week. That's quite incredible how, how much heat's been transferred into that shaft and it wasn't managing to light that bulb up. Although, actually, it's not that amazing because I'm, I'm running it at 76 volts. So, yeah, the voltage is high, so the power's high. Although this is a 12 volt bulb, see, so it does need a, quite a bit of current to light that up. I wasn't actually doing any current measurement there, but I'm sure it's <laughs> yeah, that's why that's where all that heat came from, anyway, guys. Um, yeah, we'll be getting into this looking at AC now. We'll be looking from the beginning. If you would, if you guys wouldn't mind, um, commenting if you'd like to know from start to finish how it all works, you know, the commutation steps, whatnot, the algorithms different ways to commutate the motor, different ways to regen brake. I'll probably go for it all anyway. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. That would mean loads. That'd be awesome. I'm off to bed now, I've got work tomorrow. But um, enjoy the vid guys, and I will see you next week. Catch you later.